So, if you learned anything from my previous tutorial about this, then you would have started from this view, the three-quarter view, and then from there you would have created your front view and or side view, and gone from there to create the full turnaround. Um, if you want to learn, learn more about that, just watch some of the previous videos. But while you're working, you should not be working in full color. You should be working in black and white only so that you can see um, everything more clearly. So you don't even need a background until you're finished. Um, the only reason I have a background here is just so I can make it look pretty. All right. So at this point, what you want to do is um, export it if you're finished. So let's test it out. Let's put it on a loop so we can see how it looks looping. There's no glitches or no bulges. So it looks good to go. So um, first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to hide our background. Because um, when you export this, well, I'll put it like this. In one version, we're going to hide our backgrounds because we're going to export it twice. So the first way we're going to export it is simply export it as a PNG, an animated GIF. So we're going to go to File Export, and we're going to export it as an animated GIF. Um, you don't really need to change anything. We're just going to um, keep it just like this, and we'll save it. Make sure you save it to where you need to save it. And... I'll, I can preview it later, but just trust me, it works. Now, the um, next way we're going to export is we're going to hide our background. And this one is a little bit more complicated because this one is going to require us to actually um, extend our loop. So the way we do that, well, let me explain it this way. So when we go to File, Export, and we're going to go to Export Movie, what's going to happen is we're going to create a PNG sequence. Now, it's funny how they call it Movie, Export Movie, and not Sequence, because um, this movie that we're exporting will not be a one single file. It'll be several files, one for every single frame. So even though these first two frames are the same image, that'll be two separate files. And when we take a sequence to like um, a program for editing uh, video, when we import the sequence, it'll read it and it play, it'll play it according to the frame rate. So it'll play two frames um, or it'll play what? 24 frames per second. And for every PNG file, it'll play a different frame. Okay, so what we need to do first before we do anything else is actually select all of these frames and we're going to copy it and then we're going to paste it along here so it can loop three times before moving on to the next one. And the reason we want to do that is because when we export the PNG sequence, um, it's going to play one time like this and stop. Well, no, not like that. <laughs> It's going to play one time like this and then stop. And um, what we want to do is actually make it loop three times and then we'll play a different person's uh, character. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hide the background. And then we're going to select all of these frames. Make sure you have every one highlighted. Then you're going to right click, copy frames. And we're going to go to a blank frame immediately after this one. And we're just going to right click again and paste frames. And we can do that one more time. Click here, right click, paste frames. Now, when we press enter and it's playing, it loops three times. And yeah, so, and that's what we want. And we don't want the background, so we could. Um, 
right now I just have it hidden but we could actually just delete it and when we do that we can go to file export export movie and we I actually created a folder called PNG sequence even though I already have a folder for Finn the human the flash file and for animate my because my gif is right here that we just created but I created a whole folder separately specifically for the PNG sequence because it's gonna have um, looks like about 48 files so let's look at this real quick yeah it's gonna be 48 frames so that's 48 different uh, PNG files that are gonna be all in this one folder so if you forget to create a sequence folder it will it'd be pretty bad having all of those files jammed and mixed up with the other files so make sure you, you create that sequence folder all right so this right now is called Fin the human PNG but it's but once we save it um, there'll be Fin the human 001 Fin the human 002 and so forth all the way to 48 so make sure that you create that new folder then I'm going to save it and I'm going to just leave everything the same and um, oh yeah I'm not going to leave everything the same I'm going to go to minimum image area and that way um, when we export this it'll ignore the background so all that is done if I press undo my background came back and I can unhide it <laughs> it's a cheap way to do it but who cares it worked so now if I wanted to just keep it like this I can do it and if I wanted to export it again with the background I could it's just this time I wouldn't do minimum area or even if I did it would still capture everything so um, let's look at this PNG file real quick let's go in here and let's look at this sequence alright so we have 48 different files and it's just his head spinning so I'm just going through the files and as I go through the files you can see animate now let's look at this animated GIF once I select that you can see the preview is animating itself pretty cool right alright so that's it um, if you have any questions please let me know also uh, if you if I went too fast just pause and or rewind alright have a great day